Hello everyone and welcome back to our Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Let's Play. Last episode I believe we did the Sea Needle and the boss fight and some stuff around downtown Bikini Bottom. And now we are going to be doing Goo Lagoon which is this level. Let's get right into it. They're going to be teaching us about these uh, platforms right here. Uh, there's, there's not very many in the game so they're not too useful. They help us get to higher places. Got some uh, more shiny objects here we can grab. And then we will be being introduced to a new enemy right here called the Monsoon. And it's supposed to play a little cutscene there, but uh, I guess it didn't. Let's go up here and get a checkpoint out of bounds. Like, you know, casual people do. Get on here, we can talk to Larry. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and shoot the light out to the big reflector on the island. When the light is pointed at the island, go there and turn the last reflector. And yeah, we won't be doing that. I have a, a new way, a better way of uh, destroying the robot out there on the island, as you'll, you'll see later. Once we get 40 spatulas. Get some of uh, these tiki's out here, and then there is a sock. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a sock up here on the top of that lighthouse. We shall be going to get that. I believe we have to be Patrick to get this sock. So let me let's switch to Patrick real quick. Get that stock. Let's have another monsoon enemy over here. Should be able to take care of that guy with uh, one of these. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. There we go. All right, so this is the melon challenge. It's really annoying. Easy, but annoying. Push, 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 get, stop, so. Gonna take my time and do it all in one go. We're gonna go to this one. They're starting to become more challenging now because uh, they're moving. Alright, now we gotta go across. Alright, and then I believe this one goes to the island with the sock on it. Assuming, okay, I was about to say, those just stay up forever, I guess. Alright, let's open up this teleporter box and get that checkpoint. Now, we have to be SpongeBob for this next mission, so I'm gonna go ahead and pre switch to SpongeBob for that. Because uh, we have to meet Mrs. Puff. Talk to Mr. Puff. Oh no! The children's balloons have been overfilled! They're carrying the children out of control! Hey, they sure are. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. Must be the fun police. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Pop. So the first one's right here. Simple as that. Some of these are in really uh, dumb locations. Let's 
see if we can get this one. There we go. This one's in a really annoying spot. Well, that happened, so uh, let's go back. Okay, so this next kid is somewhere out here. We'll just wait for him. That was way off. Oh, I can't even sure. I was going there for a second. My death perception is really bad. Oh, and we died. It's the first time we've actually uh, lost on this. Boom, there we go. Got that kid. Uh, that kid is probably gonna die. He's in the water. Now this last one is probably the hardest kid to save. Let's go, and we got him first try. My hero! You saved the children! <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. She still looks like she's got the, like some kind of issues going on with her face and eyes. All right, grab that checkpoint. All right. Keep on going here. We're gonna make our way over to that big old castle you guys saw right there in the distance. Uh oh, I can't swim. The way to get to the castle is simple. Just follow this path. That guy, and if you look closely, there is a GameCube controller. Or, or not a GameCube controller, uh, an Atari controller. As an Easter egg. And then there is a sock up there where that flag is. Excuse me, hold on a moment. As I was saying, there is a flag, uh, sock up here where that flag is. A little bit tricky to get to. You got to use this stack of tiki's right here to get up there and get it. Let's uh, let's try for it. There we go. First try. Let's go talk to Bubble Buddy. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? 
Why, yes! We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top! Not really the top, but okay. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Sure. Um, the golden spatula? Yeah, because that's what we're collecting. Remember? Oh, at the top of the sand castle! Right! That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. It's actually a pretty easy sand castle once I show you this trick. So we're gonna hit this button and then water is gonna start coming all the way up. Water rising must get to higher. Go! We actually go here and then what we can do is go here and then up here. Grab this. Avoid the cannon of doom. And there's the spatula. There you go, that was that was pretty simple. Now there is uh, some other things we can do in the castle. I believe there's a sock up here. Yes, there is. And that's actually a good way to be farming money in this game. Now we're gonna we're gonna head down here. Oh, we went too far. We need to get up underneath the umbrella. Right there. There's a sock in there. A little bit difficult to go to, but uh, we're going to give it a few attempts. See if we can do it. Alright, we're back with Patrick, and we're going to use this freezy fruit right here to freeze the leg. So then jump over and get the sock. Patrick, you big fuck, get up there. Then we're just going to skip to the end right there. And I believe we need to go all the way around. We're actually gonna grab SpongeBob because he's the best person to get to this next section of the game with. We're gonna go grab him real quick. Oop, or we're just gonna die, one of the two. You we have to exit the castle the right way this time. Now we have to go up the castle again. Watch this cutscene for the tenth time. Water rising must get to higher. Next mission we will be doing is the Sea Caves. So if you guys like what you see, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next episode.